Welcome Mecha Break fans, I'm your host RoboGamer1HD and today we are just days away from the Christmas holidays and we are testing with the closed alpha test for Mecha Break. Today I wanted to share my first impressions of the game and really share my thoughts on the game so far. So, let's dive into it. Hello Mecha Break fans, I hope you all enjoy this video. We've got brand new closed alpha test gameplay from yours truly, and we are jumping right into that action, and I hope you all enjoy. So, one of the things that I wanted to share is just off script, we're just straight up sharing our open thoughts about the game. First thing that I think about is the amazing gameplay combat that is part of this game, and that is what you really want to set the tone on when you start a mech game. and and see and the company behind the game is so very good at being able to fine tune that and make it feel absolutely amazing uh it almost feels like you're in the in the pilot and and you're almost like uh, in that space when you're playing the game it feels so very good playing against all of these mechs and playing in the game and the the in-game cutscenes for like you uh, ejecting when you get shot down or like even like loading up to go into the mission to go into that multiplayer pvp experience is just so awesome i love even the kill cams too it shows what happened when it happened and how you got shot down and that sort of thing so it's awesome and i absolutely love that and you can even watch your other players while you're waiting so if you don't want to even see your kill cam on how you got killed or or whatever then you can watch your other players on your team and what they're doing and what's going on in the action as you wait for the the cooldown timer for you to be able to jump right into that action once again the the timers and everything the load times and everything are pretty great um i think that it's very fine-tuned this game is almost absolutely perfect the way it is honestly the way they fine-tune the game and the way this closed alpha test is is playing out it almost feels like the official launch honestly it feels just that good however there are some things that i do think they the team can fine-tune on the mech side of things and of course this is a closed to alpha test so it is subject to change so just keep that in mind guys there's so many awesome things about this game you can paint your mech. You can cosmetically make it look absolutely amazing. Uh, there's character customization, and uh, specifically for the Elise Nez, at least, when you first start into the game, it starts out with that story mode, and you can play for a little bit, and it, it just jumps you right into the action. It jumps you into the story mode right to begin, and I love that there's a lore story portion of this game, and as you play and you continue to play, there are so many more uh, cutscenes and various things that are going to be able to play out as time goes on, as you continue to play the game. And of course, but there's that PvP multiplayer experience that you can just keep playing and playing and playing against other players and having an absolutely amazing time playing on Battlefield, Arena, and the other Marksman game mode. Uh, and while I didn't get to play the other two for Arena and the Marksman or whatever that uh, other game mode was, uh, I'll, I'll probably remember it later. But uh, there, there's two other game modes, and whether they're specifically for custom matches or they're uh, when you're in a party. I know when you uh, get into a party, it, is, it becomes available for the arena mode. And I honestly did not get to actually play the arena mode, unfortunately. But there's other maps associated with those other game modes, and it's pretty cool as well. However, uh, for the most part, I play Battlefield, and that is the 6v6 mode where you play against other players and uh, various different game modes like capture the points or disarm the bomb or uh, various uh, or capture the flag, basically, of like take the the, uh, the token from one point to another and try and uh, get that for your team, basically. Uh, but for the most part, guys, there's different mechs that I played as, like the Elise Nez, the the, uh, the Illuminae, the uh, Narukami, the Inferno. I wanted, I did play as Panther in the in the uh, Tora mode. However, I wanted to really play as the Aquila, uh, the other sniper compared to Narukami, and uh, that is the other sniper that it seems like a lot of people really enjoyed. However, the only thing that sucks about that is that I did not get to buy the Aquila because it was just so much in-game currency. And uh, unfortunately, I did not get to play as the Aquila, and I really wanted to. I hear a lot of great things about the Aquila as a sniper, and I really do hope that at some point I get to play as the Aquila down the line. 
However, just seeing other players play as the Aquila, it looks like a very cool class being able to jetpack up in the air and being able to shoot uh, the sniper and control your sniper very easily as, as well. But the Nawakami is just as great. You can basically hide at the back of the map and just snipe people off, which is absolutely amazing. And I had so much fun being able to do that. Uh, it's a little bit squishy once you get too close to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat kind of thing with the Narakami just because it's not really equipped for that. It's more so for the sniper side of things and staying at the back of the map and just sniping people off. And that's what I really enjoyed is just chill, uh, cloaking myself in the back of the map and just sniping people off. And that was so much fun. However, I also had a great time with the Elise Nest, which is your base character that you start out as, your base mech, your base custom character. And... You just jump into a match as the Elise Nez and you can dominate the field. It is actually a pretty powerful mech if you just played as the Elise Nez alone. However, I am curious if that if that mech will get fine-tuned down the road. We'll see, but honestly, a lot of the mechs do feel absolutely amazing. The Falcon, on the other hand, is a little bit on the squishy side once you get into the flight mode, but it is a very capable uh, mech regardless and I actually really enjoyed at first I was like oh the Falcon's a little squishy but then once you start to play as the Falcon you actually really start to enjoy it you know how to play the combat you really need to dance around on the map so that you do not get shot down and that sort of thing but it's also a very powerful very powerful mech at the exact same time oh guys there's just so many awesome things that I have to say about this game there's awesome customization for the paint details and you can make your your mech look unique compared to so many other people. Um, I do hope that other people's mechs show up more in detail in terms of the, the paint detail and the modifications that people make as they continue to play this game for Mecha Break. And I think it would be absolutely amazing to see what other mechs look like in higher detail. So. Uh, I am curious curious if there's going to be like other uh, decals and various other things that they'll introduce to this game as we go on. But honestly, there's so many cool things about this game, being the kill cams, the gameplay, the, the close hand-to-hand -hand combat. There's so many things that I want to say about this game that are so positive that I think this game actually may just top, top the charts in terms of how absolutely amazing Mecha Break is so far. Like I said before, guys, this game is very fine-tuned and it could almost be jumped right into launch as is with the closed alpha test. That's just how great the game is so far. There are a lot of things that they need to fine-tune, of course, and it's subject to change. But of course, as time goes on, I'm sure they're going to make the game absolutely amazing. And it, it, it truly is to me personally, as is already. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please enjoy the rest of the gameplay combat for the rest of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel for more Mecha Break content. I have so many more videos and gameplay combat that I want to show to you guys that I haven't showed to anyone else yet. And I hope that the team will enjoy uh, the, the footage that I have to show. I had lots of awesome great gameplay combats. I, I got a few MVPs throughout the time. I got some aces as well, which is basically uh, an amazing shot of, of just uh, killing off players uh, one by one in kill streaks. And also I got a team wipe at one point in time while playing this game as well. So there are so many amazing moments that I have to share with you guys. And I can't wait to show that here on my channel. So if you guys want to stick around for some more awesome Mecha Break content, you guys want to stick around, subscribe to the channel, and of course ring that notification bell and you will not miss a thing. Stick around for more Mecha Break content. It's coming here and I cannot wait to show that. Of, co of course, guys, I, I'm so excited for this game. I, I'm sure you guys hear it in my voice already and I hope you guys look forward to more as we continue on. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. This is RoboGamer1 HD. Over and out.
in 10 seconds.
Stratum Shatter deploys in 10 seconds.